an even better question, do you have your own fork of PX4? So we keep our own, we keep our own fork of PX4, but anytime we change anything, mm -hmm. typically we push it upstream, or whoever's made the changes for us, typically it gets pushed upstream. Yeah. And I think the best example is probably the first example, where, okay, the landing code was made, the takeoff code was made, um, the uh, autonomous landing code, all this split, you know, crow down, crow, split ailerons, all this sort of stuff, and it went right back upstream. Because that's not our business. Yeah. And if I can pay for it, not pay for it, but use it, and then you as a user or as another company could use that as well, that's better. Yeah. Because then you're gonna come back to me and say, hey, this worked, we saw this problem with this, and, and then we can make, it, it, it iterates, right? Yeah, there's a lot of ways to contribute back. Exactly. Yeah, like you can hire developers. Yep. Uh, you can share the knowledge like you're doing. Yep. Uh, maybe you can sponsor an event. Yeah. You can be in the podcast talking about your experiences. Yep. And um, that's the advantage of being part of an ecosystem, yep. a community. Yep. Do you think it would be the same if you went closed source? Not, did, not only did it, it help us, it made us. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't have happened any other way. It would not have happened if we went closed source because the time to market for, for software, things like this, would have been unknown. It could have been a month, great, but it could have, it could not work yet. So we are here because of open source, PX4. That, I mean, I, I'm really firm. I, I think I said that in my, um, in my uh, during the conference. I mean, 100%, we were here because PX4 enabled us to do it. Yep. So, uh, absolutely. Well, it goes both ways. Like, Ooh. you take, uh, <laughs> the other day I said this quote, and I let, I'm hoping that I'm gonna say it right. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yeah, I was, yeah. I, was I mean, it's like, <laughs> and, and it's not even like that. It's sort of inadvertently, right? Like, so if we if we hire a developer to do something, um, if it's especially if it's you know non-core, something that we're just not, we don't want people to know about yet, we'll push it back upstream, and then we can see how how it works. I mean, yeah. yeah. And where um, I'm assuming you have some code, modif code modifications that you consider your like IP. Yeah. Um, where do you draw the line? Like, how do you decide, hey, this is something that I think is gonna push things forward for the community, and I'm gonna push that. Versus, hey, you know what? I think this is something that it makes us unique. Well, that's an interesting one. So I, I think truly, when you start looking at it, we're, we're a manufacturer, right? Um, so, if, and let's assume you're a customer for a second. If you, the customer, can benefit, then generally we want, given our position, we want you to have access to the code, and we typically want most people to have access to the code, simply because most people end up modifying it themselves, and we say, if, if we're kind of, if we pay it forward and things like this, then you'll, you'll share with us, and so, so we typically don't distinguish too much. We tend to put everything back out there. Okay. Because we're a hardware manufacturer at the end of yeah. the day. So that's kind of a, a unique position. And hardware is hard. Uh, yes, <laughs> it's, hardware it's is hard. hard.